I'm Dr. Sarah Keller. And I'm Dr. Vera Bruns. And we're postdoctoral researchers in the Department of Engineering Science. That pop you just heard isn't just the sound of celebration, it's physics. When you're opening a bottle of champagne, like I'm opening this bottle of food for bacteria, the pressure inside suddenly drops. Under high pressure, the carbon dioxide gas is dissolved in the champagne. When the pressure drops, that gas can no longer stay dissolved in the liquid and instead forms tiny bubbles. That's the physical phenomenon called cavitation, when pressure changes cause gas bubbles to appear in liquid. And here's the really cool part. Those bubbles don't just sit there, they actually can move and grow and eventually collapse, generating heat, energy and shockwaves. In champagne, that collapse makes the delightful fizz and sparkle that we love during the holidays. But in our lab, we use it for something far more serious. We use controlled cavitation to deliver drugs, kill cancer cells and break up bacterial biofilms. So when you raise a glass this season, remember. Behind those festive bubbles is the same physical phenomenon that might one day cure disease. So, so cheers, cheers to, to bubbles, bubbles in science and in celebration. Happy holidays.